In this video, we will discuss about genus Bunostomum. Bunostomum trigonocephalum and Bunostomum phlebotomum, these are the two species which are going to study. The Bunostomum trigonocephalum is also called as hookworm of sheep and goat. And the predilection site for the Bunostomum trigonocephalum is jejunum and ileum. And the Bunostomum phlebotomum is also called as hookworm of cattle and the predilection site for the same is duodenum. The adult worms are blood suckers. Because of this characteristic of blood sucking, the affected host will lead to the anemia, hydremia. Hydremia is the watery blood and because of the loss of blood protein, the eventually leads to the bottle jaw condition in the affected host. And the clinical signs such as dark colored feces, it is due to the altered blood pigment and postmortem lesions such as hydrothorax and pericarditis can be seen and when it comes to the diagnosis, fecal examination for the X and fenbendazole and albendazoles and any other drugs can be used for the treatment purpose. This is about a short genus that is bonostomum and here are the some questions let's try to answer this on your own ankylostomatidae species are also called as dash and what is cutaneous larval migrants cutaneous larval migrants is nothing but a creeping eruption the condition in the unnatural host majority human beings that is children what will happen in this means, the skin penetration of the larva of the ankylostoma brazilensis, ankylostoma caninum and bonostomum during the initial exposure, there will be inflammatory tract, edema and pruritus. The repeated exposure will lead to the erythematous lesions, vesicle formation and burning sensation at the site of penetration. This is about the cutaneous larval migrants and the genus bonostomum. In the next video, we will discuss an another new genus. Up to that, thank you.